Salutations, I'm Nick Argenbright, and on this week's episode of Opposing Roles, Claw Claw is taken away as Sinya suits up. W73 and Denton, meanwhile, come up with a plan. Everyone have dice, extra paper, pencils, their character sheets? All right, let's begin. Let's roll for initiative. This season, we're playing Star Wars, the role-playing game by West End Games. Our players this season are... This is Stephen Woosley, or Woos. This is Samantha Stark, also known as Sam. This is Eric Sternberger, known as Eric Sternberger. And I am your Game Master, Nick Argenbright, and this is Opposing Roles. You could be larger than life, bigger than the world. This is Opposing Roles, Battle Ready Armor. This is an almost actual play podcast with every season featuring a different RPG game system, sometimes reoccurring, other times brand new. Sadly, we don't have anything to point out Table Talk Wise, a section where we discuss inside references or jokes at the table. But if you feel we should have said something, please let us know at goodbadgeeky at gmail.com. Previously on Opposing Roles. But, uh, Denny, what do you need? All right, well, first off, just blanket uh, explosives. Okay. Just my, my typical package. Okay. We don't have a lot, but we we can give you we can give you some for like one big one. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can put that in the notes too. GM side note: enough explosions for one big one. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the name of my sex tape. <laughs> it's the very successful sequel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name, uh, a Gungan lady. Misa name is Kla Kla. Let's do it. Kla Kla? Kla Kla. Nah, I'm just going to call you Kla Kla. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, so here's my idea. Uh, Senior. Mm-hmm? If you like posing like a badass bounty hunter. Yeah, bring it. Are you that good an actress? I'm I feel like going sta- to turn you off. <laughs> I feel like that stare said yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Felt, see- so that one felt a little personal. So... See, now I'm going to have uh, ran into you and say that you caught Claw Claw here. All right. I'm going to uh, head back to the, uh, to the gangster, bring, uh, bring her with us, and uh, get you put on the crew. Okay. And uh, by the way, there's this uh, unfunny motherfucker in a, in, a, in a mash named Oker who's not going to be happy with you, but uh, just to let you know. Oh, joy. She looks at you, and, I mean, she's following what's going on, but she's just specifying because I got it this time. Yusa are going to take Junta away and take Misa, Yesa? Uh, yeah. I was proud of that one. I was really excited. I wanted to share that out there. Okay. <laughs> um, she's like, OBKB. <laughs> That's the one I hate. <laughs> OBKB. <laughs> OBKB, indeed. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get a bag. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okie day. Ooh, uh, sorry. I swear to God, I thought they said that too. I was like, is that a weird Bill Cosby reference? No, that was just me making the weird Bill Cosby reference. <laughs> I am so sorry. Is there sorry. any other kind anymore? <laughs> that is... Uh, mm. True. Get um, a little boarding pop. What's that? <laughs> I, so, I guess uh, take the stuff to meet Mika. I I shall do that. And uh, we'll wait up here, hold up with Claw Claw. And I'll leave one speeder for you guys in case you need it. We'll, we'll give you the details of the plan for, for so that you can uh, replace uh, the droid on, uh, when oh. the time comes. Yes. Okay. Are you that good of an actor? I'll turn you off. <laughs> <laughs> you already do. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so every time um, I want to last I'm longer, I just think of in. you. I'm <laughs> glad you that. All right, so you find a bag in the rubble, and uh, rubble, 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 rubble. And so you like, you know, you motion to the child mm-hmm. to get in, and and she <clears throat> she does the whole Mista shiny, whatever, very very touching <laughs> stuff, or, or used to shiny, sorry. Uh, and the mom kneels down, and starts talking to her and the child starts to cry Misa gonna miss you Misa gonna miss you yeah mm. and um, and they hug each other and then um, she backs away as you close the and you leave enough room for air close up on a single tear <laughs> yeah actually yeah you see the other weird little eyes and you see like little tears going down as you <laughs> gonna, gonna milk that for all it's worth and then uh, you get on the speeder bike and you you pull off, mm-hmm. all right. And are you? So are you going? Where? Are you, so where are you going at? Uh, where is the rendezvous point? I guess is the mark six seven five. Okay, you go to mark six seven five, and for the sake of humor, you're going this way towards the mark. It's kind of like in the middle between where the base is and whatever it is. And you see another transport, and it's you see Mika and Cluster <laughs> go this way, and they pass you for a second. And they stop and they they, because <laughs> they should have that in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. And when they do, uh, beep beep beep. Should be space boop, space boop, space boop, space boop. <laughs> also sounds like I'm saying boob. It's weird. <laughs> space boob, space beep, boob. Beep beep beep. Back it up. Beep beep beep. Back it up. Sorry, I have to just. No, <laughs> you're fine. You are totally fine. So uh, as you do that. We're going to, so you pull up and Mika gets out. He's like, so everything's there. Yes. Plus one more thing. What's one more thing? And I just pulled the bag off. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you just pull it out. Yeah. Oh, no, you no, I, oh, you lift it. Oh, you I, dump her out. Yeah. You jump around and she just kind of gently. Boom. Oh, gently. Okay, she gently rolls and not on her face this time. <laughs> nice addition at the end. And as she does, she like you know, you know, and and looks looks at him and he kind of he's like, he looks nice, but you know, Mika has like a big old bushy white beard and he looks kind of terrifying, I guess, to a child. Santa. Yeah, and uh, if Santa exists in the Star Wars universe, <laughs> uh, oh, he could. That's a good idea for a future sure. adventure. Um, a Christmas special. I'm kidding. I would not do the, Yeah, Christmas special. We'll do a one-off. It's Christmas Happy Life special. Day, everybody. Gungan Santa. Gungan <laughs> Santa. There we go. That would be fitting. Put that in your turn. Santa. Gungan, wait, wait. Gungan Santa. I bet it's pronounced Santa Claus. <laughs> Gungan Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, what's the Mexican word for taco? <laughs> It is taco. <laughs> so, uh, so he he looks at the kid and he looks back at you. He's like, "Boy, what have you got us mixed up into?" Oh, how long have you got? I always got time for you, but I. Uh, let me guess. You want her to take her back to take her back to the base? Yes, it's part of a bigger plan that, you know, the one we talked about with. The Denton thing with the Gungans. So this, oh. the mom felt better if we kept this. You kept this one safe. Okay, we can do that. And he leans down. And he starts talking. I'm not even going to try to use the translator anymore. He he he's like you know, he's talking to her and she, he she warms up to him because mm-hmm. he knows how to talk to a, a, a child and she. With his beard. Yeah, she plays with his beard a little bit and he doesn't seem to mind. And he's just like, uh, he's like, do you know anything about her? Like, do you know her name? Junta. 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 We'll take care of you, all right? But for now, we got to you, keep you safe. Do you mind getting back in the bag? And she doesn't want to. And she looks at you. And I tell her to get back. Tell her it's okay. Yeah, okay. So she Go ahead. She she not she kneels in the position, they just pull the bag up and Mika's like, "We'll take care of her." Cluster, you're with him. And then uh, mm-hmm. he takes all the <laughs> burp, 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 burp. <laughs> He is not happy about that either. <laughs> And, uh, Neither of us is happy. Does this just make the best of it? You give cluster legs, right? No, I gave no. the surgical droid legs. Because okay. the surgical yeah. droid was like, stuck on like was, okay. I couldn't remember which one was. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, that's him saying. I don't like this either, but let's yeah. let's just do this. <laughs> so, Can we just enjoy a quiet ride back to the? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you two start doing your thing, Mika Mika you know puts the gun in safely on the thing, takes all the other supplies, and he looks at you. He's like, "Be safe, boy. Come back to me, okay? All of you do. Come S- back. Safe is my middle name. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> <He> sp- <laughs> you speed off or he speeds off? I speed off. Okay, okay. <laughs> and the whole time, and the whole time. This is going to be a long ride back. <laughs> I'm excited for things that I found. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you, you should be so lucky to have something love you that much. <laughs> Oh, you keep uh, telling yourself that. <laughs> hmm. 41B has legs now. That's not going to get you any closer. Hmm. Let's listen to a podcast. <laughs> Space Radio Hour. <laughs> uh, you have turned on podcast pod racing. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get the fantasy podcast uh, ratings coming in this week. Oh, I like this one. Coming in at number one, we have... <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you getting so hysterical about? He's, he's a terrible pod racer. I like my pod racers that win. And that brings us to the portion of the podcast where we list all the pod racers who died this month. <laughs> I thought that would be your favorite part. <laughs> so as you guys bicker down the thing, it goes da na 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 swipe. <laughs> um, oh jeez. Yeah, <laughs> pot racing podcast. Like, uh, I always just think of the Family Guy when they do New Hope and it's C three PO and Luke going out to the desert and they they're listening to Tatooine Rush Limbaugh <laughs> oh, <laughs> and they're just not saying a word and it's just. Him. <laughs> 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 so as we do the uh, the swipe, we are swiping to. What are you guys doing for her disguise, uh, or the the mom, Claw Claw, and you? Are you just digging through stuff through the trash, or yeah? Okay. The only, I only imagine um, Boba Fett. I don't know anything else about any other. You know, character. So I just picture like the helmet and like the gear. Yeah, and... we're getting you some uh, badass gear at the same time. Just gonna make sure my tentacles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will throw good. out there: you're probably not gonna find a Mandalorian helmet. Yeah, that would be kind of hard to find. But but at least like a face piece. Oh yeah, um, like a Jason mask. As such, just to warn you, the guy who's not gonna be very happy with you is a uh, disciple of Django Fett. Is he unchained? And he's got a mask. <laughs> Thank you. It took, me a, it took me a second. I got it. I was like, mm, bravo. I've so, been wanting to make that joke since you first said his name. Are you kidding? Anyway. So, um, <clears throat> while we're putting together an outfit for you, maybe um, keep that in mind. Oh, so you're a fashion designer now. I'm, I'm, ju- I'm, I'm just saying, if you want to get, it's possible if we want to get in with him a little bit more he's uh maybe you'll have more inroads than I. for some reason he doesn't seem to like me and i can't figure that out i, I can't imagine but i don't know case okay, so you want to get an inroad to him to make sure we can have you accepted into the crew yeah what colors should we look for i guess probably blues blues blues, blues, blues are, are exciting well, my skin's already blue so there you go except for my yellow hands and Okay. <laughs> no, that's not. well. That was a very nice twirl you just did. <laughs> uh, so I mean, I guess let's uh, try and get you something. You know, worst worst case scenario, we do a little spray paint of uh, Mandalorian symbol on a shoulder pad or something, yeah. and uh, we fake the whole damn thing. All right. Well, so do you have search on yours? Do do do, do. search 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 search. I do have search. It, well, Is it's it under, under perception? perception. Yeah, three D. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, two and one wild and. This is just from what you can find in the alleyway real quick for free without having to... Four. Thirteen. 
13, okay. You find some stuff that could be passable for, like, you... Uh, the closest thing I can think of is you can find, like, a... It, you could probably double as a mass. Just, it would just fall in, like, you know, mm-hmm. that way if you wanted to use it. Um, and you'd probably need to spray paint it. <laughs> but there's an, there's enough there that you could maybe also put eye holes in it, too, as well. It's about the size of a hubcap. Okay. Whatever that would be. In the, uh, you know, it's some kind of giant weird gear thing. and It looks the same size. And then I would say you also find little dangly bits that you can put around a belt, make it look like, ooh, trophies. But if you want anything else, you, pro- you might have to... You might have to buy it, unless you just want to throw a bunch of stuff. I mean, you found some decent stuff, but mm-hmm. or you can just have what you have and put the mask on and oh, it, whatever this. you guys want to do. Do I've, do die? Yeah, what do you want to do? Die? That's a knife. Thank God. That's a knife. It's got to twist it in, don't you? <laughs> okay. I think I got like twenty-seven hundred credits left or so. I have six hundred left, and then I have a thousand of my own. And then, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to be using my credits to uh, to buy any of my stuff, so uh, I guess we can use that to dress you up since... <sighs> yep. I mean, it, my credits are essentially worthless at this point. Okay, so we're going to get, what, a chest piece, some leg pieces, and a, so the chest piece will come with the shoulder pads. Well, uh, throwing out there just for perspective, light armor is 1,000 credits, medium armor is... 2500 heavy armor is 5000 if you want to have hunter armor it's only 500 but you also lose one dice on your dexterity okay. um, actually that's the thing about all armor you lose you can mm-hmm. you can lose dexterity dice yeah um, light and heavy you lose two dice but uh, if you would get hit it it's your strength dice roll plus two additional dice with it so it has its pros and cons not that you've ever been shot on a mission with me. Yeah, just almost shot. A lot. <laughs> Actually, I think you have been shot once or twice. And, just the, and also for perspective, light armor is only strength plus two. So it's not two dice. It's plus two. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. And also it's negative two dexterity. While medium armor is strength plus one dice, and it's only minus one dice. So... Just for perspective. And then the hunter is strength plus two dice, but it's only negative one dex and it's only 500. So I like pers- the idea of the hunter. Okay. I, th- I think that would be the best way to go. Hunter or medium. but I th- Okay. If I'm a bounty hunter, I'm going to want to be able to move. So yeah. minus one dexterity is going to be better than minus two. Right. So. All right. So. Um, and I get a plus in strength for both of them. So it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, so, so the way the damage works is, and we've not really had to do damage in a while, is that, and this is what I learned. We will. I did it incorrectly. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you guys probably will. Um, and I did it incorrectly the first time. When you get hit, you're supposed to roll what your strength is, and that acts as a gauge. So whatever their points, you, add them, you have them oppose each other. And then whatever the difference is between that, that decides if you're wounded, incapacitated, or killed. And I actually read some different rules for stunning, which is if you if you say it's a stun gun, even though if it might be a roll that would kill you, because in the original rules for Star Wars, you can get killed with a stun gun. Mm-hmm. That's what's saying that it's very dangerous. But they're just like that doesn't make any sense. The point of the stun gun is to stun you. So the re up rules saying that oh no, it just if it's that bad. Like you're just really fucking knocked out mm-hmm. versus being kind of knocked out. So okay. But I was just throwing that out there because I would say you guys are not in the story yet, but I was just throwing out there because I know you guys are talking about credits, yep. um, just to keep in mind. Um, I think I'm going to go with the hunter armor. Okay, so... Uh, so that'd be minus 500, so I'm down to 100 credits of all right. Mika and Sula's So for money. the sake of... Yeah, not our money. For, for yeah, this, their this, money. This is, for, this is rebellion business. We're using rebellion credits. For, for <laughs> the sake, we don't get reimbursed. The reimbursement tabs we got to fill out. <laughs> for the sake of, of time... You, there's like another swipe you're at the store you pay your 500 credits mm-hmm. yeah you, you know and then you swipe back um, and I would say it's just you for the moment you're with the Gungan to yeah. make sure and then you swipe back and she's walking back and she's wearing her armor now with her weird little and you're finishing up the face plate for sure. her to whatever um, so yeah you come back and you can see Denton he's like finishing up your makeshift face plate and uh as you guys do. Oh, by the way, you, do you have a blast? You have a blaster, don't you? I do. Okay. I have a blaster rifle and I have a blaster pistol. 
I would say from your what limited knowledge you have of bounty hunters, you're, you should go with the rifle. That's so, what I was thinking. Yeah, so yeah you I might, agree. You will still keep your blaster pistol there, but yeah. like you pull it out in the pose you always see them in, where they're yep. just kind of holding it. <laughs> I had it in my head. I was yep. like, yes. All right. So she. Uh, yep, but I've just got my blaster rifle. And do I have my stormtrooper rifle anymore? Mm-hmm. All right, I kept it. Yeah. Can I find my knife in the rubble? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she saved your life though. She it's, did, yeah. It's just throwing out there. If you kept your knife, you would have been. This is after the fact. Yeah. I would have attacked you heavily because <laughs> you have a knife. Well, stormtroopers are gonna see. Oh, weapon fire. Pointy, pointy, stabby, stabby. Yeah. They would probably go, "Hey, you, stop!" and then fire, but <laughs> um, and then miss because they're stormtroopers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, now again, I point out the fact that every time they shot to miss, is because they had a tracking device, the Millennium Falcon, and they were tracking. Yeah. They, were tracing it the they let us get away. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, Sam's uh, Senya returns with uh, with her with her or her hunter armor mm-hmm. on, and uh, you're finishing the uh, face play, and uh, uh, you give it to her. She puts it on, and, and then she holds the, the the blaster rifle in the position, and mm-hmm. she. It looks like a, a fucking bounty hunter. Nice. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. All right, so I'm just going to march her right up to the door. Well, I mean, you've been there before. I'll go with you. Well, yeah. I'll say that I ran into the both of you. Okay. And that I want you on my team if you're able to track down rogue gungans, unlike uh, some people who are on my team. Mm. Okay. All righty. So um, I'm going to turn to Clacla. Cla. Okay. And I'm sort of going to explain to her, I might have to push you around a little bit. She doesn't. She, she doesn't seem super thrilled, but she's she nods. But it's it's all for the greater good. The only way to keep you safe is for me to be a little rough. Um, Okie bay, Okie bay. So also when my sex uh, uh, when W seventy three picked up uh, Chopper, do we have any communication devices? Yes. Well, you, it was discussed in the last episode that you guys had them, but they were turned off. But you didn't okay. go into how much so, you guys had, so I'm willing to make a little... Okay. To smudge it a bit here. So, for sure, okay. let me put it this way. For sure, if W73 didn't have one before, he has one now because of, cause, Cause, yeah, cause of Mika cluster. and Mika. So, yeah. um, but you guys had them, but you guys had them, as you discussed as the group, you should probably turn them off. Yeah. So... <laughs> So, the asshole that got me shot last time. <laughs> uh, just really um, <laughs> it was really funny. Though. I'm, I'm going to use the communicator to uh, reach a Cluster. Okay. Since he's got the on board, whatever. All right. So, uh, so you and might. and just basically tell him the plan for W73, so that we don't have to go through the whole thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So, exactly. Just right. pass that along to him. Okay. And he... I right. love you too. So... <laughs> so, uh, and just to be clear, just so it can get communicated properly, yes. officially again, what is the plan? <laughs> We, we're we're going to get W73 out out to the base in some way, get him to replace G3PO. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, I haven't seen G3PO at this point. Like, officially. I right. always thought it was W. So right. when I see him, I'm, oh. I'm, I got to try to keep my... Like, oh, that's why we need him. Okay. So... Yes, and, and everyone knows that they look exactly alike. We, we had that conversation during okay. the wipe. All right. So, yep. Oh yeah, I just let my scarf and kit hat leave. Mm, yeah, you did. <laughs> so you're gonna look just like him again. Uh, okay, except, so except for a twitchy eye. Uh, <laughs> as you guys do that, and he ends the communication. He he tells you what the plan is. As you guys continue to, I would say at this point you're probably like. Stopping in the are you stopping at the are you guys going to go all the way into town or are you guys going to stop at the gates? We'll probably stop where we where the other speeder is. Okay, yeah. and then uh, you guys. Oh, the other speeder is with them. Oh, they took it. Yeah, okay. that's right. Because you guys right. both went. All three of you went to the the alleyway. I thought. Right. Right. Okay. 
So you guys, so you head back there, and uh, are you guys, you guys are already making your way to, what's it called? I mean, you're not taking the speeder bike, right? You are taking, you're just on foot? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's three of us. Okay. So as you, you get back and you see that the other speeder bike's there, but they're gone. Okay. Um, doesn't look like there's any sign of whatever, but, you know, it does, oh, well, that's not true. I'm sorry. Strike that from record. Roll your perception real quick. Just curious. Oh. Four. Fail. And it was a fail because of the wild dice. dice. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. He was a one on the wild dice. Oh. It looks like there was a fight broke out. <laughs> it looks like it looks like maybe one of them got shot and thrown into the garbage and as they flail to get up, you know, because it's all spewed uh, around. This isn't good. <laughs> oh. All right. Are you do you want to do anything else for the moment or are you just gonna we just talked to them, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, or Cluster did. Yeah. I hesitate to say this, but what do you think, Cluster? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I suppose we could wait here. All right. Okay. So you guys wait there. And uh, as you do, it, it uh, cuts back to um, you guys as uh, you guys are walking through town towards the uh, hideout. And uh, I will say this too, like uh, she's getting a little nervous as, she, as you guys step closer to the building. And um, for your perspective, because Den has seen this before, it, it almost looks like a normal building, like just a housing unit. There's like three of them back to back to back. But the one, the thing that makes it kind of not as, you know, conspicuous is there are two Ryloth guards there, and they're just kind of silently in the position, ready to fight, you know, they're on guard. You're pushing her along, and Denton, you're, you're, you're to the, are you to the left, the right, or behind Sinya? I was going to be leading. Oh, you're going to be leading, Okay. I was so, gonna, so I was going to be like... So Cluck will be in the center, and then I'll be behind yep. making and sure she doesn't yep, get anywhere. Pushing her kind of stuff. and you're yeah, getting I, into I figured room. I'd be taking her to the place, and so she doesn't know where she's going. That's perfectly fine. So um, as you start coming around, the guards look at you. You just walk up, and as you stop, they just don't... They don't even break. They just kind of look at you, and then look at these two, and look back at you. Posing Roles is presented by D4K Studios and is produced in conjunction with Nick Argenbright and William Dell, with all editing provided by William Dell Productions. Our game system for this episode is Star Wars, the role-playing game, published by West End Games, republished by Fantasy Flight Games. Our cast is myself, Nick Argenbright, as Game Master, with Denton Stegor, played by Eric Sternberger, Twi'lek Rebel Scout Sinya, played by Samantha Stark, and Protocol Droid W73 being played by Stephen Woosley, a.k.a. Woos. Battle audience support provided by Laura Spires. Music for the show provided by Lucas King Piano and Pink Zebra featuring Benji Jackson. Website help provided by Alice Fox of alicefox.net. The logo and cover artwork provided by Scott Weaving for our podcast Opposing Roles, found at opposingrolespod.com. That's O-P-P-O-S-I-N-G-R-O-L-L-S pod, P-O-D, dot com. We are, of course, on Twitter and Instagram under the username GoodBadGeeky. Follow that for updates on all the different projects I'm involved in, including opposing roles. But warning, it is my personal Instagram and Twitter, so there's some of that, too. Star Wars and all related titles, logos, and characters are trademarked property of Disney. And Opposing Roles does not imply an official affiliation with, endorsement of, or sponsorship by the copyright and trademark holders, unless otherwise noted. Opposing Roles is a production of D4K Studios. <laughs>